Hmm. But that's an interesting room to jump into. Now in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. Sure. You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. No problem. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. No problem. I'm always a rather honest person when it comes to tests. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances or mistakes. I'm fine with admitting that we're good. What does that say? Help. Well, that's easy enough to read. But you must decide uh, what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Yeah. Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? I don't need to know that, but sure. Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? No, I, I would love to understand myself better if that helps. The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. I'm fine without predicting my future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. Stop getting mad on me. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you don't n do not naturally have access to. Something like that. I did not read that correctly. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. Is it now? This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work, at work unlocking hidden, tr hidden truths within itself. I'm not talk good right now. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Yeah, I know that. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the question with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. Sure. I invite you to grab a drink of water. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions and, pro and provided that you are a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. First question. Why is there so much blood in your room? Do you believe that everyone should always be treated fairly? Yeah. No question about that. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? Yeah. Everyone deserves ch an equal chance. Have you ever invented anything? Now oh, that's an interesting question. Have I ever invented anything? I'm pretty sure I haven't. I don't think so. No? Making me second guess myself, but I don't think so. Do you believe that you are worthy of someone's time investment? Now that's also a loaded question. I guess so, yes? Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? I try to be open-minded, so yes? Would you say that you sometimes have trust issues? Oh yeah, I sometimes have trust issues. I'm someone who doubts a lot. Would you be alright with living alone forever? No, that's one of my nightmare scenarios to be frank. Like being completely isolated. To always give someone the benefit of the doubt? I try to. But then again, I'm not always trusting then, so... Yeah, but there's a lot of... Think about it in the back of my head. Do you dislike the sound of your own voice? Nah. Easy enough. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? I like the color black more than I like the color blue. 
like the color blue more. No, I like black more than blue. And then I think I like purple more. If I found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? If I know who it belongs to, I'm gonna give it back to them. Sure. Are you sure you want the an uh, Are you sure you want the answers you seek? I don't know what answers I'm seeking, but if I'm seeking them, I'm sure I want to have them, I guess. You're afraid of spiders? No, I love them. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? Now that's a weird question. Would I jump into molten lava just because I would... Unscathed doesn't mean that I wouldn't feel it, and that sounds painful. Also, I would just essentially fall onto rocks. So no, I think I'm fine without that experience. Would you consider yourself to be fat? No, underweight. That's, that's what I see myself as. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? I mean, I've been told that I'm a very charismatic person, so yes. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? No. Why? No. It's all very interesting. Is it now? I'm not willing to jump into molten lava and I don't want to be frozen. I, I'd like to stay right in the middle of those two extremes and be perfectly tempered. Like, even tempered is what I want to be. Do you realize that the last letters of the previous five questions when you put together spell the name Satan? No, I did not. Does that make you uncomfortable? No. Does it need to? <clears throat> Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? I mean, if prompted to, maybe, but I don't think so. Actually, no, I don't think so. I'm now wondering what other hidden messages <clears throat> are placed within these questions. Within the questions? Maybe. Maybe a bit. But also no. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yep. You're afraid the, of the consequences for answering questions is honest. I did not know there were consequences, so honestly, no. We are aware that there could be a poten could be potential consequences for answering this honestly. I was not aware, but now I am. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? No. Looking at the room, I kind of was aware that these questions would start to take uh, start to take a a strange turn at one point. So I did not wonder about that. Would you consider yourself captivated, like by the quiz right now, or just in general? In general, no. By the quiz, yeah. Very interesting. Is it now? Would you consider yourself to be brave? I mean, I try to challenge myself. Huh. Hmm. Brave-ish? Yes or no, brave. Uh, it's a little bit of both. I'm also a comfort person, so I don't need to be brave, but I'm interested as well. Eh? Do you view, uh, view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? No. I'm dense at times. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No, I told you I wasn't gonna. <laughs> I wonder which hidden messages you may have missed. No, I told you I wasn't gonna wonder about that. Have you gone to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? Kind of, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Yeah, I have all the time in the world. Unless I have something to do, then I don't have all of the time in the world. But overall, I just take my time. Do most hum humans annoy you? Not most. Not most. There's a good few that annoy me, but not most. Do you prefer animals to people? Like, in theory, yes. But I think in practice, um, practice I'm better with humans than with animals. Do you believe in magic? No, not really. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? No, also not. Do you fear death? See, like in a theoretical way, no. But if I start to think too much about death, then I get this deep existential dread. But it's not fear, it's dread. So I'm not really afraid of death, it's just that unknown feeling of not knowing what comes after that gives me like dread 
but there's nothing to do about it, so why fear it? So no. Are you attracted to someone who you're not currently in a relationship with? I don't think so, no. I wouldn't know who I would be attracted to at the moment, so no, I guess. Did you answer the last question with 100% honesty? As far as I'm aware, yes. Unless... Are you alone? No, I'm not. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? I mean, let me take a look. Nah, neither of them is watching me right now, but doesn't mean that that couldn't change. Me and Recording Dog are in the background, so both of them could be watching me, and I wouldn't even know it right now. Uh, but yeah, I would believe you if something were watching was watching me right now. I'm not counting you, because you're not actively watching me. Have you wondered who I am? Maybe a bit, but not really. I wonder more about the doll and the bear. Have you had shivers at any point during the session? No, so far I think... I'm fine, I'm solid. Do you feel, feel like you're being watched? Again, I have a dog in the background who might look at me throughout the whole session and I wouldn't know it, so... Maybe a bit. Have you considered quitting this session early? Nah. I have time. Do you drink water every day? Yes, I have it on my desk. Do you eat at least once per day every day? Yes, I need to. Again, I'm underweight. I'm... It would not be healthy if I don't eat. <laughs> Do you realize that there's a high probability that you've missed a plethora of hidden messages thus far? Yes, I am aware of that. Are you wondering what they are? No, not really. Again, I wasn't gonna care about them to begin with. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? No, it would not bother me. There's things in this world that you will never know. That is something that you need to learn now. There are certain things that you will never get an answer to. And constantly going and trying to find every answer to everything will just make you unhappy in the long run. So accept the fact that you will not always know everything. Like I'm accepting that I will not know everything that's going on in here. It's just normal. Is your favorite number seven? No. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? I mean, that's true, yeah. Oranges can cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? I mean, different fruits. I mean, they're both fruits, but... If you were to give me an apple... Or were to describe an apple to me and then you give me an orange, they are not comparable, so cannot really compare them as like one thing because there's such a different thing in itself other than their fruits Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star did you know that I've heard that I think a few times everyone deserves a second chance do you agree I mean it's only fair to give everyone a second chance but if you flop that second chance then it's over and there's a lot of people that already right flop the second chances you can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? I wish I could agree with that, but honestly, even if I will it into existence myself, there's just things that are not possible for us, so... Honestly, you can try as hard as you want, and there will, there can be something that will prevent you from ever reaching that goal that you set for yourself. So, you cannot do anything that you put your mind to. It's still worth trying out and still worth to just jump into the deep end and just try out as much as you can so that you can maybe achieve the thing that you want. But it does not always work out just because you want it. Sorry. Obedience is more important than freedom. No. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? Yes and no. There's a certain... Uh, uneasiness that I have with being underwater. It's basically the same thing as with being out in space because you're reliant on something that keeps you alive and if that fails it's over for you because you yourself would not be able to survive that. Survive that. So it sounds really interesting but also terrifying. Do you realize that the first letter of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase I love you? I did not. Again, I wasn't gonna look for them. Stop trying to make me look for them. Good. Do you wish to be loved? Yeah, I do. Have you ever felt hated? 
I don't think I can say anyone really hated me. It was like just people that I didn't get along with or something like that. But real hatred? I don't think I've ever felt that or known that. So, no. Do you have any addictions? No. Gaming addiction. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Do you dislike the color pink? No. I do not dislike it. Does the color gray seem depressing? It can also look beautiful. So no, it's not just depressing. Gray is such a vast canvas of stuff. Do you enjoy a lot of music? I enjoy any kind of music. Do you like to dance? Yeah. Would you consider yourself normal? No. Do you love your parents? Yeah, sure. Have you ever been lied to? Sure, who hasn't? Do you get angry often? If I say no, that's gonna be the truth here. Even though games like Astral Chain and Pokemon drive my blood pressure up, I'm normally not a person that gets angry too often. I'm rather chill. Do you hold grudges? Not... not really? A sting there. I don't think. I'm not really a grudge heavy person. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yeah. Have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done, but still did it anyway? Like. Like theft or something like that? You mean. I mean. <laughs> I mean, I was a young, dumb kid at one point, and I was easily influenced back then, so yeah. Have you ever lied? No, I'm a pure and honest soul, I never lied. Have you ever cheated on a test? <laughs> oh yes. You won't cheat this test. Hey, well, you don't know that. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? I love me some good trees, honestly. Like, I really love trees. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? An animal instead of a person. I mean, it would be, considering all, an easier life. The game said I should take a sip of water every now and then, so I'm doing that. But, just going for an from I'm a person right now and I would get transformed into an animal I don't think I would be happy then because I would have to try to survive as an animal then but if I were born as an animal, animal I wouldn't even know that I would be missing something technically it's an easier life but it's also a harder life because living as an animal is a life of survival because you don't have to be a domestic animal so it's tough and nature is brutal getting eaten alive and stuff like that so I think oops I wanted to press no there well there we go do you believe you have psychic powers no I don't if I had them I would go to back one question and change that have you ever seen a ghost there is that one time where a friend and I were really convinced that we saw something that wasn't normal. We saw, we were out on a field late at night and the both of us saw in the middle of that field a white horse. And there was no farm in that area that had a white horse. So we knew we both must have seen something but we don't know what. So in that regard, yeah, that could be considered a ghost. Even if it was just in a vision, but it's the interesting thing that we both saw it. So there was definitely something. Do you dream often? Probably, but I don't remember a lot of that. Because everyone dreams, the thing is if you remember them. So the answer is yes. Do you have nightmares often? No, not really. Do you often suffer from anxiety attacks? No. Lucky me, no. Do you suffer from depression? I did more than I do now, but I'm still gonna say yes to that, because you don't just suffer from that once and it's gone, I think. Do you exercise often and stay active? I stay active. I don't exercise as often, but I mean we go for a walk with 
our dog every day for at least two hours. So, yes, I'm staying active. I wish I was gonna do more sporty stuff again, but everything with time. Is there a particular type of food that you despise? Like, really despise? I'm someone who's quite open to, like, anything. So there's nothing that I despise. That said, I haven't had durian yet, which is something that's really high up on my list of stuff that I wanna try. But so far I haven't found anything that I absolutely despise. Well... No, no, I don't think there's anything that I despise where I'm like, no, I can't and I won't eat that no matter what. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? I don't think so. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you ever feel lost in life? Yep. Constantly. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? No, not really. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? Now listen here, I am chaotic. Like in alignment charts, I am chaotic. And this is a tempting offer right now. If that is the path to destroy the world. But the world by itself is a beautiful place and an interesting place, so I probably wouldn't destroy it. If it were just destroy humanity, I would be more down to press it if we destroy humanity only and let animals live and plants. But the whole world would be a shame if you ask me. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Yeah. Sometimes. Have you ever been bullied? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Have you ever bullied someone else? Yep. That's the thing that I know for certain, sadly. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? Yeah, sure. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Probably, yes, and I'm sorry about that. I can be a little bit of a klutz. Do you find space fascinating? Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? In a way, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? I try to at least. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes, I am. Have you ever fantasized about being a supervillain or performing a heinous, egregious crime? No, I don't think that I ever wanted to be a supervillain. Again, more going into the heroic sh um, uh, place than into the anti-villain or supervillain. So, no. Anti-villain? Do you believe in perfection? Nope. Don't chase it. Give up on that. Have you ever stolen from someone? Like from a person? No. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstance? I mean again, I'm a chaotic person and if the right circumstances and the right Situations align. I do that. Yeah. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? Good question. With one day to live. And the question is what would I do with one day to live? Spending time together? I mean, the one thing that I can tell you for sure, I would not go to work, because if I have only one day left to live, I'm not going to work for that. Because that doesn't matter to me anymore. Uh, would I tell anyone, though? And the thing is, if I know it, I probably would just... I probably would keep it to myself, because it's probably a lot of strain on everyone if you tell them that you're going to die, and if you just die the next day, then it's just something that happened and nobody was any the wiser that it's something that was supposed to happen. So even if it's brutal, I think it's also kind of making it easier down the line if you don't tell anyone that it's gonna happen. <sighs> because there's nothing that anyone can do and if you tell them, yeah, I'm gonna die tomorrow, like, what, what would their last day be then? Everyone would just be sad? People would try to change that? I, I 
think it would be better to not say anything. I don't think I would tell anyone. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? I don't really have dark secrets, so... No, but my secrets are that I have, that I'm not sure that I have secrets, that's a better question here. I think I told to people, so yes. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? You know what? You're a person that stands in a room splattered with blood and there are letters H-E-L-P on a weird desk and whatever the crud that means. I trust you. Do you know who I am? No clue. Well, I know who you are. If I appear behind you right now, would you scream? I would be impressed because you would be... If you would be right behind me, you would be in between my green screen and I. Otherwise, you would be right behind the green screen. And then dog would bark, so... Anyway, I would be impressed by that. I'm not a screamer, though. If I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would, you, would that scare you? No, I would be impressed that neither... <laughs> that neither my girlfriend nor my dog have reacted to that. And again, if you're on the green screen, that would be really impressive because there's like that much of a gap there. I mean, you are a sprite only, so maybe that fits in there. But... No, of course not. That would be silly, now wouldn't it? It would be funny. And silly, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Like in the sense of you can understand someone and feel into them, then yes. Uh, that, like that, yeah. I'm not, not empathetic. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? I can be romantic. Yeah, I'm considering myself romantic. I'm not doing it that much, but I can be romantic. Have you ever been in a physical fight? That depends on what you're talking about, like real fights, like little... Little rough-ups, rough ups, it's kids and stuff like that, but not, never really a fight, so... Well... Ah, uh, I was in Jiu-Jitsu. But that's not a fight. That is, is that a fight, though? I'm gonna go with yes on that one, just because I did uh, martial arts. <laughs> Are you prone to headaches or migraines? Thankfully, no. Like, that sucks. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Sometimes, but not in general. I'm gonna assume that you mean like, I always look at the ground, so no, I look all over the place. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? That's a loaded question for someone that is non-binary. But if it just talk in terms of body appearance, then yes. Would you ever shave your head? I'm self-conscious about the sh shape of my head. But... Let's say if it's for a good cause and I have to shave my head or something. Yeah, I would. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? Like well-toned? Yeah? But like bodybuilder? Muscular? No. I'm gonna assume that you mean like bodybuilder standard and I'm not attracted to that. That's not... Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Yes. I also dance when somebody's looking. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Who's my best friend? Yeah, I trust. I trust. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? Depends on what parts you mean. There's a certain moment from which on I'm pretty okay with knowing what happened. It is a moment from where I know nothing, so... But overall, my childhood, I'm gonna say yes. I have a good memory of that. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? Yes. <laughs> Don't question that. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? I don't think I've ever dreamt of running away from a killer. Have you implanted that dream into my head right now? Is that what I'm getting at here? 
Am I gonna dream about running away from a killer? I'm actually kind of good with lu lucid dreaming, so... I should be fine. But no, I never dreamt of running away from a killer as far as I'm aware. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? That happened. Like buildings, cliffs, yeah. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? Oh, never had that one. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Yes, I do. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yes, that too. Do you like being the center of attention? Uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. That's a highly dependable situation. Um, I like to be a side character more than the center of attention. I just somehow, especially when alcohol gets involved, I tend to push myself into the center of attention, but I actually don't like to be the center as much as being like a sidekick. Do you feel like something is always watching you? I have a dog, yes. <laughs> have I ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Yeah, actually I did. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Yes, did. Have you ever punched a nun? Nope. But I saw uh, two nuns in the car yesterday, which was hilarious enough. But no, I've never punched a nun. Do you like dogs better than cats? I'm more of a dog person, yeah. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? I'm more of a movie watcher. And that is because I'm slightly dyslexic and reading books can be strenuous for me over a long amount of time. Which is also why I love like these games because there's a lot to read. But there's also a lot of time where I can just look away from the screen and just talk with you. So that kind of resets my uh, dyslexia. So uh, I'm more of a watcher than a reader. Which is a shame. I'm still wondering why I asked you if you pun ever punch a nut. Actually, yeah, kind of. That's still in my mind. Do you get starstruck easily? No, not really. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? No. Kind of like it, actually. Because it's always fun. But sometimes I'm just uh, completely pooped out and I don't want to go anywhere. But usually I actually, actually like it. Is your favorite part of a birthday receiving presents? No, I'm the kind of person that actually says ignore my birthday. Seriously little, have you ever punched a nun? Like really, just BAM! Right in the face, nun punch. Don't try and sell me on that. Like seriously, I have not punched a nun. <laughs> but I would love to nun punch. That's, let's just talk about the fact that that sounds kind of fun, but I would not punch a nun, and I have never punched a nun. The fact that I got so close a few days ago to being kind of able to do that is hilarious to me though. Did you laugh? Yes I did, nun punch got me good. Did you say what the fuck in your head or even not laugh? No I did not. I laughed. I am now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun sometime soon. I don't wanna punch a nun. But if I see a nun the next time, I definitely will think about nun punch, so... If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? I mean, if I go and punch a nun, I probably would be. Do you enjoy fa fantasy fiction games? Yes, I do. Do you masturbate frequently? Sure. <laughs> I'm wondering what constitutes frequently. I don't care. I am more than slightly uncomfortable right now. I am not even at all uncomfortable. Let me take a sip and show you how comfortable I am. Uh, is your mouth dry? No, it's not. My throat on the other end is a little bit scratchy. But it's been the whole day, so nothing to do with you. But my mouth is not dry now. Especially now. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? No. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? I would love to believe, but there's just no way they exist, sadly. My poor dragons. Are you poor with money management? No, I'm good with money management. Choose one of these numbers that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. 1, 7, 11, 13, 21, 69. It's 21 actually. Choose one of these colors that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. 
Blue, green, red, purple, gray, black. Purple. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this moment. Wicked, sick, plague, wretched, toxic, vile. Sick, dude. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Blessed, glorious, divine, angelic, heavenly, celestial. And well, since I like read gorgeous instead of glorious, I'm gonna go with glorious. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you. Lucky, uh, luck, skill, strength, agility, intelligence, charm. Ooh, my character set. I'm a skilled person. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Yeah, at times. Do you speak more than one language fluently? German and English. Those two I speak fluently. I'm working on French. Like I'm trying, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I speak two languages. I'm bilingual. I'm bi- I'm bilingual. Not bilingual. <laughs> Have you ever visited a country other than your own? Yes, several. Do you enjoy coffee? Yes, but not frequently. But overall, I like coffee. Do you believe in demons? No. Because if demons were real, then I would have a chance to probably see a dragon too. So no. Do you believe in angels? No, for the same reason I don't believe in demons. Are you afraid of sharks? No, I'm not. Sharks are cool. Do you prefer baths over showers? I actually love showers more, but a bath every now and then just hits the right spot sometimes. But overall, I like showers more. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? No, I mean this. I had one perfume once that was like hit a very specific note that I got a slight he headache from, but it's not a usual thing. Uh, did you see a shadow move in your room a few moments ago? The answer to that is yes. A girlfriend moved. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Nah, no, it's fine actually. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one's calling it? Yes, because I have a rather um, common name. Like Dominic is not a rare name and sometimes I just imagine that I hear it. So yes, I actually had that happen. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? No. Luckily I can say that does not really happen. We just misplaced stuff. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? No. Wait. No. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Yes, I am in an, apart in an apartment. Especially when we moved here, there was one weird knocking sound that always came from up on the roof because we have an apartment that's like right under the ad under the roof and everything. And there was something weirdly knocking up on the roof and we were rather concerned that the whole thing was gonna come down on us. It stopped ever since, but every now and then you still hear random knocking noises. Do you often look at the same time? Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Like I'm looking at it, it's like 10.30. I look at it again, it's still 10.30. Do you mean like that? Like no? If, if I'm getting that right? It's a weird question, but no? Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at the night while you sleep? No. Do you have any pets? Yes. Dog. Is your favorite color green? It's not. It's purple. Are you attracted to a family member? No. I'm not. If I won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Yes. If you could be the, the dictator of your own country would you accept the role the dictator of my own country but I'm a dictator well dictator does not necessarily mean to be a bad person even though it's kind of intertwined with dictatorship but you can do a lot of good even as a dictator and I can resign and I can form like a mod democratic system or something that's working better than a normal democracy I probably would yeah why not do you ever wonder what it would be li like to be in prison yeah I sometimes do wonder that do you like fishing 
Nope, since I can't really eat a lot of fish, I don't see a reason for me to do that. Do you like hunting? No. I never tried it though, but I say no because I've never done it. Do you like camping? I like camping, yeah. Do you like guns? I wanted to say no, but yes is also fine because it's kind of a mid thing, but I like more medieval weaponry like swords, axes, I like those more. Guns are sometimes cool, but overall I tend to go for different weapons or arms. Are you getting tired of answering questions? No. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Aren't we all a little bit kinky? Wink. Eyes are the windows to the soul, do you agree? I mean you can see a lot in a person's eyes, so yeah. Do you always keep your promises? Not always. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? No. Are you an only child? No, I have two brothers. You have seen both of them in videos. Do you ever enjoy... Do you ever enjoy being drunk? It's just a bit, yeah. Do you like tattoos? Yes. Sadly don't have one myself. Do you enjoy being high in any form? Never been high, so I wouldn't know anything of that. Do you believe you have a soul? I have organs. Did you cry this week? Not actively, no. No. Dog is moving. Are you upset with someone right now? No, I'm not. Is this someone you're not being completely honest with daily? No, I try to be honest every day. Do you understand how this works yet? I have no clue. If you answer the questions twice, if you answer the questions twice, your trust, truth may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them and the combination uh, combination you answering answer them in. Okay? It's about many different variables. You'd never guess. Do you understand? Oh, yeah, sure, I get that. I was wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered. No, not really, I'm just going for it. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of this inten its intention, would you believe that? No. That would be weird. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Like, all of my, the people I know and love and my friends just leave me alone and I'm all by myself. That sounds like somewhat terrifying. So, yeah, guess, kind of, yeah. Are you afraid of dying alone? We all die alone. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No, I did not. No, still don't worry. Are you always on guard waiting to fend off any attack? No. But I'm, I have good reflexes so I should be fine. And if not, I'm dead. Do you feel like I know you yet? I mean, you had a few interesting questions, so you probably have a little bit of a picture of me, yeah? Have you had any strange noises while answering these questions? Yes! Again! My girlfriend and my dog are <laughs> with me. <laughs> I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, uh, I can't skip questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took, took loads of time to respond or answer quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. You have been. I'm cal calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Who are you to judge me? Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. You are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. That's what I told you. And, the f and that fact alone is what makes you so incredibly special. I know. Thank you. Your scars are reminders of what didn't kill you. Your mistakes are who you were. The lessons learned are what you, what you needed to be who you knew you could be all along. Let me read that one again. The lessons learned are what you needed to be who you knew you could be all along. The second time it made a little bit more sense to me. Forgive yourself for the mistakes of the past. The people you felt you should have paid more attention to. The people you felt you should have given more of a chance. The people you felt you didn't treat the best. 
You are not the person. You don't have to be that person again. Every single second of every single day is an opportunity to change and be the person we wish to be. One piece of advice I must offer you is that your time is not infinite and your opportunities aren't either. You may not be able to change the past, but you can absolutely change the present, which will vastly alter your future. If only you believed in yourself as much as I believe in you, if only you could see what I see, you'd never doubt yourself again. Keep at it, make the changes, and flourish! The secret word is appreciate. I'm gonna remember that. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Sure. Oh, that's what? That's it. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in the comments for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in the future projects we are currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of history. This is a chance for you to be part of something greater. Be sure to note the secret word in the comments. If you do not wish to partay, be a part of upcoming projects, simply leave a secret word out of comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and we always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been some help to you and if they aren't yet, it will make sense very soon. Trust me on that. You can find the test this is rising. Yeah, I have a little behind the scenes here. I actually downloaded the bundle off of the test game. So we're gonna do this for uh, the next few weeks here. Every Saturday we're gonna do one of these little tests here and see where this ultimately will go to. Because this is interesting. This is real fun. And maybe the next time we sit down for one, we will be alone. And then I might just be paranoid that something is behind me. But this was interesting. Like, I I love some good spooky tests and like, there's a peeking behind the curtain. And they have made a really fun and good job with that. But I'm intrigued to see what the next test holds. So, yeah. Again, I have all of them. We're gonna do them throughout uh, the next few weeks here because I think it's four in total and we just did the first one which was the test. So we have three more weeks of seeing what this all will ultimately accumulate to. I hope you're interested in that and I hope you enjoyed this little mini-series here on Saturday. Um, so yeah, see you next time. Bye.